Ibrahim and Arabaju. I represent the entire people of Moba. You do see legitimate federal consistency. I'm from a Kitty state. Mr. Speaker, my contribution will be very brief. The last budget here, I made the same contribution. I find it a little bit difficult, Mr. Speaker, that some people who sit in Abuja here are begin to budget for me in my village. It is, to me, placing the card before the horse. I've always advocated, Mr. Speaker, that there should be interactions between ministries, MDAs, and agencies before budget is drafted at all. There is practically little can the parliament do after budget has been presented. Before you know it, they begin to give terms on our interventions, the level at which we can intervene. Mr. Speaker, we need to entrench it now. There must be interaction between MDAs, agencies, and ministry with parliament. We are the direct representative of the people. I must be able to tell the Ministry of Agri what my people want. I must be able to tell commerce and industry what my people are expecting. Where agencies just feel they needed corn in Adamawa and they needed to give uh, fertilizer for rice in Ekiti. It doesn't work. There must be interactions between parliament to determine what our people want. That is the reason why we are here. We can talk all the talk here, speak all the English here. The budget has been presented. We can do practically nothing to affect directly our people. I therefore plead with Mr. Speaker and the leadership of this house that before budget is presented, there must be a timeline within which agencies, MBAs, and ministry should interact with the parliament before presenting the budget.